Hello and welcome to day 26 of the Being Challenge. Today we're going to talk about the power of persistent prayer. And I would like to start out by reading a parable for you. It comes from Luke chapter 18, 1 through 8. And he told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not to lose heart. He said, In a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor respected him. And there was a widow in that city who kept coming to him and saying, Give me justice against my adversary. For a while he refused, but afterward he said to himself, Though I neither fear God nor respect man, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will give her justice so that she will not beat me down by her continual coming. And the Lord said, Hear what the unrighteous judge says. And will not God give justice to his elect, who cry to him day and night? Will he delay long over them? I tell you, he will give justice to them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? This parable is interesting for three reasons. First of all, God uses a negative reality, the judge is a horrible guy, to show us the truth we have in God. That if we persistently come to him, he will answer our prayers. The second thing is, he starts out this parable by telling us exactly what he's going to say. Which doesn't happen very often. He says, he told them in a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. And then at the end, he asks us a question. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? And I think a better question for us to answer is, will he find faith in me? In you? You see, prayer isn't about going to God and getting the answer we want. Prayer is so that we can grow in our relationship with God. And it's not passive. It's an action of our faith. I think that in our world today, we have everything immediately. And that's how we expect prayers to be answered. We can go to a drive through and we have food immediately. We can take a picture of our check and it's in our bank account immediately. If we have a question, we just Google search it and we have our answer immediately. But here's the thing. Just like this parable says, we don't get our answers immediately all the time. We need to be persistent with God. And if we really believe in the power of prayer, we will continue to pray to God about the same thing over and over and over again until it is clear what the answer is. I wanna read you a quote from Dallas Willard. We don't believe something by merely saying we believe it or even when we believe that we believe it. We believe something when we act as if it's true. So today the challenge is to act as if you believe that the power of prayer is real. Here's what I want you to do. Here's the challenge for today. I want you to write down two to three big prayers or something that you were praying for for a while and stopped praying about. And I want you to continue praying for those things until God answer your prayers. But before we go, will you please pray with me? Dear Lord, thank you so much for giving us prayer so that we can go to you for anything. Help us to act as if we believe in the power of prayer and please answer our prayers and let us watch you work in our lives. In your name we pray. Amen. All right. I will see you next time.